Okay, so the reason why I was so excited about getting, um, I don't want the light to turn on yellow, to get these little razor things is because I saw a video um, from Mel MPHS, her name's Melissa, about how she shaved her face and just helps with foundation and um, I don't remember all the reasons why but I just like never realized how hairy I am right here so I've been wanting to try it and I noticed that my foundations always cling to the little hairs on my face so I've been wanting to try it so um, I'm gonna go ahead and do it and let you guys know what I think and if these are good razors um, but I don't know if you guys can see I have a lot of hair in this area and I just also have like, I kind of just have a fuzzy face. I'm just gonna go ahead and do it and let you guys know what I think. So, see you in a minute. Okay, I don't know if you guys can see. I just did a little spot right there. I don't know if you guys can see the difference. But, um, hold on, the lighting's turning yellow on me. Anyways, can you guys see this? That was just in that little section, all this hair. That's gross. <laughs> I'm hairy face. So I'm gonna do the rest of the like guys know what I think. <laughs> okay, so I just got done shaving my face and I feel a dramatic difference in the softness of my face. Um, I'm gonna put on my foundation. I'm just I just moisturized so I'm waiting for that to kind of dry and then um, I'll do my foundation. I'll let you guys know if I notice a difference. Um, but I don't know if you can see all that is gone. I mean, I might have missed <laughs> some spots because I can't see, but I think I got it all. Um, on this side, I did this side too, and I'll show you how much hair came off. That's all the hair that came off my face. Look at that. That's gross. All pe and it's like really soft. <laughs> so. If you've thought about shaving your face, so far I would recommend it. I'm gonna go ahead and um, put on my foundation and let you guys know um, how I like, how if it feels different or not, so. One second. Okay, so um, I've been doing my makeup a little bit differently. I've been doing my eyes first and then doing my foundation, which I used to not do that before because for some reason I didn't like it. I thought it was harder because then you had to be careful around the sides. But I'm starting to find out it's easier that way because then I can clean up the eyeshadow around my eyes to get the angle that I want after I'm done applying it and blending it and everything. Um, so I applied my foundation and contoured and did blush highlight after I did my eyes. and. I feel like it really does make a difference getting all those little peach fuzz hairs because I don't know in my opinion my makeup looks more airbrushed if that makes sense like it's not so powdery fuzzy looking or something um I don't know what do you guys think I think it makes a big difference my face feels softer lighter um with my foundation on and I use I usually use the L'Oreal True Match um, but after watching one of um, Still Glamorous's videos, um, she was saying something about using Revlon. Hold on, let me grab it because I don't remember exactly what it's called. Um, she's she's having a moment. The Revlon color stay, and my color is. 150 buff um so i use that and i use it for dry skin and it works way better than the l'oreal true match i still like the true match but i have really dry patches right in here and my nose gets dry and up here gets dry and i notice even if i exfoliate and use a moisturizer it's still dry in that area um and the true match kind of clings to those areas and the color stay doesn't so um and i feel like it has a good coverage so um that's what i've been using and see all those hairs are gone i don't know i just feel like it's a cleaner look so sorry about the lighting i'm in the bathroom i could probably go out in the living room <laughs> maybe you'll see better so um I don't know if you guys can tell. But anyways, 
I would recommend it. Um, oh, and this is the biggest thing. Brava, say hi. Only thing is, Brava. Gramps packed it away with a lot of other things in the basement. We just got so, out of the shower, so that's why she's not dressed. Like um, going on a this is like um, one of the biggest things that um, she said, um, Melissa, is that you don't want to use a regular razor. Don't use like a Gillette or a Schick. Don't use a regular razor. You need to get the little um, ones that I showed you, the little blade that's for your like your brows or something. Because if you do it with a regular razor, your hair is going to grow back thicker, but not if you use the little anything razor According blade Grimps, the little brow one that i already magic. showed you so um i know there's different brands i did notice the one that i got um um it's sharp but it's not like like there's a couple times that i thought i cut myself and i didn't so i think there's different brands that are going to be more sharp that you probably should be more careful so um anyways i hope you guys like this video and i'll see you later bye